can you explain to like maybe your younger fans the culture from you know when you guys were coming up of offline music so mm. and making mixtapes and sending things to friends that was like unfinished like I remember just bouncing off my computer in high school like shitty beats and just giving them to friends and then it would kind of perforate naturally and like some of the mixes like the too many DJs mixes we'd have on our iPods and like mm. sharing songs it was it would encourage more unfinished music to be heard whereas yeah. now yeah you couldn't dare upload an unfinished idea to Spotify no but the culture's coming back via underground record labels. They're, they're printing, pressing white labels with um, uncleared samples in, in an edit. Uh. And, you know, people, the, the, that culture is huge because the biggest DJs in the world are in Ibiza and Europe and America playing those things, those uncleared samples. People are hearing them. They're being uploaded then in videos on Instagram. So it's basically the same thing. You can hear them just in a yeah. different format. But yeah, we came from the time where you'd make something and you just... Get, actually, the record label would just be like, fuck it, let's just... Let's give it a go. I think you know? you And they'd release it, like uncleared sample. You know, the one that we were on anyway, which was Hugo's cousin. <laughs> it was oh, yeah. just the cowboy era of, you know, blog house. And they'd just put something out and see what happened. But which now is it was great. like... It was also... You can have anything. And so people now want things that not everyone can get. It's like, yeah. for the most part, if you hear a song, it can go viral in a day, then everyone's got it and they kind of shake it and throw it out. And that's it. So, like, longevity on songs doesn't have very long. So if you can give artists an opportun opportunity to have a song between themselves that they can all play and no one can have access to, it lets the song live a little bit longer and, and have you know a whole other life and that's what used to happen though when you, there was only two exactly but it was it be someone someone it. have it on their cd it's like if it was on if it was on record yeah. and we still talk about it like ajax um having one of two uh copies of drop the pressure yeah and it was like oh, milo yeah everyone was like play the motherfucker song when he go to the club because he was him and the guy who owned the record store were the only two people that had dropped the pressure on single it's like hoarding that and we were and on 56 kb internet like yeah. we couldn't get that yeah and what are you supposed to like <laughs> you're sitting there typing in motherfuckers gonna drop the pressure and thing and the was like no no it's you know, yahoo ask jeeves yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> i used to wonder how lime why i got it when i actually would get like find the song like oh there it is i'd be like did it just steal it off someone's computer like how did that happen i was i was also skeptical of be like you know in in modern ones there was like a youtube rip but the other thing you're talking about with songs disappearing off platforms you had songs that were purely pressed to record that never made it yeah. to cd and now you've got songs that are cd that never made it to digital platforms and then you got songs that are digital platforms that never made it to streaming so there's like four levels of things that are going missing and i've got files from like napster 1998 still on my computer <laughs> Like, the yeah, ones I, that, the like, ones that I did save. I don't think people really understand the concept of <laughs> offline, <laughs> of offline music. Like we all understand the concept of like cassette tapes and vinyl and CDs, mm. but the idea of like MP3 culture that is not one that is streamed from the cloud, like just harboring on your hard drive or that whole, like, just like that, you know, the sound of the iPod when you turn the wheel or to make that clicking sound. Oh, yeah. and just how, It was kind of therapeutic and you just sort <laughs> of like, you know, yeah. browse through, swap songs. 